Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again for one more Power Query video and today I would like to share with you guys how do I replace certain values on Power Query. So let's do it together. Guys, here you can see my screen already. So it's really easy to do it, to replace values on Power Query. First of all, we have to go on. Uh, Power Query to do it, we just have to click it here. I'm gonna use the sample data set, so click it here in the sample, and I will click on this load sample data. Then Power Query will appear. Oh, Power BI will show this new window. Window, we just have to check. I will work with Fination, and then instead click on load, we're gonna click on transform data in order to see the Power Query window. This one, okay? So already here. And here we have some, these fields. So we have segment, country, product, discount, band, and, and all of these, all of these fields, okay? I'm gonna replace, guys, some values from this, from segment field, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do it here on the, in this field, but you can do it the, the same structure in any field that you want, okay? So how do... I replace, for example, small businesses. I have small business here, and also I have small business here in this line. First of all, I will just filter small business. So, new video for you related to how do I filter on Power Query. But I, I already showed you how to do it in our playlist, Power Query for Beginners. Just go to our YouTube channel and you will see this playlist, okay? So here I will move on just with the small business as values, as data, okay? Then I will replace just the small. So how do I do it? I just have to click with the right button of my mouse, uh, then replace values. And then on this, in this uh, window, we just change the value to find and how do we want to how do we want to replace? So I'm gonna find the small. Then I want to replace, for example, for uh, is uh, little, for example. Okay, I'm gonna replace. Uh, I'm gonna find the small and replace for little. Then we just click on OK, and as you can see here. Power Query instantaneously changed the uh, small for little, but we can do more with this step. Okay, guys, I will just click in this icon over here, this setting icon once, then I will open these advanced options. Okay, here we have two different options to replace. The first one means uh, match entire cell contents. Uh, in this sense, we just replace if Power Query find this small in all the data in it in each row. Okay, if it if it uh, if the Power Query didn't see it in all the the data in all the cell over here, won't change. Okay, won't replace. For example, I will just flag this option and then click on OK, and as you can see, now nothing happening. Right because there's no entire cell related to a small. For in this sense, if I want to change something, I have to put it a small business. And then Power Query will replace all this information for little. Look at now replace everything. All right. Then I will move moving back and then show you one thing more. We can replace, for example, instead little I want to replace just a small for a special character. So if I want to do it, for example, I want to use uh, a tab to replace the, the using the special character. Then I click on OK. OK, it didn't work because it's here, the information. So I have to cut over here and put in the replace with then I have this special character, uh, which means that Power Query just changed the small information for the tab character, right? So I can change for anything uh, from here. For example, let's see how this will works. 
this option over here, the carriage returning line feed. So, okay, there's a new parenthesis that I wrongly erased. Then I click it. Look at now, guys. As you can see, Power Query added a new line above the information. So uh, the software just replaced the information in small and then include a new blank space above a new line. A kind of li li new line. It's not true new line, but now we have two information in the same cell. All right. That's how these options work. So if you want to change for a special character, you just click it here and use these options. However, you can use, for example, just asterisk. I want to replace for asterisk and then uh, just remove this replace using special character, then click again. And now I have this symbol instead is small okay that's how power query works to replace the values you can do it for each field if you want and also if you want to change just the formula instead this uh, icon of settings in this window you can move on to this part to formula expression over here then click and as you can see this is the command to do it the replace values to find and replace if you put it here the content that you want to replace and after the comma you put it the content that you want to the first one the content that you want to find and the second one the content that you want to replace all right then you will see that the last part of the formula it's related to the field that you want to use it okay that's how finding replace works on Power Query. Okay, guys, that's how Power Query replace values. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to check if you are already a subscriber. If you're not, please subscribe and also share this content with anyone that you think will be useful. Okay, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye.